So imagine my joy. In Britain, you know, there's a BBC, one, two, whatever, you know, there's a bunch of them. And there's this TV station called Channel 4 that does the most hideous TV, train wreck TV. And I hit gold. I hit gold one night. And I saw something that said, Sex Bots, a documentary about the making of and then the world that is in, ahead of us for the sex bot industry, which I'm fascinated by. You can choose the skin, the size of the breasts, of course you can, the angles, the look. They're now talking like that too. You are everything to me. I could never want more in another man. And um, they say things, it's great. And um, Harry's dreaming. And uh, yeah, no, no way and they're like $250,000 and they're very, very expensive and you don't, you know, this is not on a whim. And then it said, then it said, yeah. And the, the British announcer says, but what about the man who doesn't have the 250000 What about your normal, your average kind of Joe? Cut to, he'd managed to find himself a second-hand sex bot. <laughs> now... I'm thinking there's a lot of mileage on that. That's what I'm, my first thought is there's mileage on that thing, isn't there? Really? Then, you see them in the park. He's taken her to the park. He carries her. He carries her like this, like, like, like it's their wedding night, through the park, sits him next to her, poses her. <laughs> hand on his leg, looking into his face. I'm like, this is weird. No, it's getting weird, isn't it? It's getting weird. And I wrote this song. <laughs> and, and it is indeed called Secondhand Sex Bot. certain needs well love my wife love my home and my family don't have looks don't have cash and my smile's bent i'd admit i don't shine in that department so so i read up and looked at the prices you might think that it's just a midlife crisis but silicone silly man acting like a boy we're in love and she's more than just a toy i've got a second hand sex spot living in my house a second-hand sex bot living in my house living in sit and I pose her no one knows her and people stare cause she's a thing to see well okay so her mouth never closes I smell the roses cause when she looks at me after food we might take in some TV hold my hand tight if it's something scary well I don't mind if my wife wants to join us we're such a happy family we're the second hand sex but living in and disinfected so I've got such peace of mind and she's pure again so when I'm in the feeling's really more than fine and when we're done and overcome I look at her and she's trying to tell me she's trying to tell me I could almost love you certain needs well to my wife from the start I would never leave her and I'd say on the whole she's relieved well I don't look for a woman with who 
those human needs She's so cute knowing I'm always faithful Watching there from behind our kitchen table Judges wish she would look happy for me From now on, oh, it's just the three of us Living in my house, living in my house.